holidays may be over, but there is never a bad time for chocolate, especially good chocolate that looks as beautiful as this. I am with Summer Badawi at the Dessert Company, and we're gonna be making dessert bars today, which honestly are the most beautiful bars I've ever seen in my life. Tell me what's inside of them today. So today we're gonna be looking at the s'mores bar, which is this gilded beauty over here. Now you don't necessarily think gold with s'mores, but we're making it work. It's one of the most popular bars we have, and it is essentially a s'mores, which kind of messy. We've cleaned that up for you, added more chocolate, and it's just an ab absolutely delicious chocolate bar. So that's the one that we're gonna be looking at today. So it does seem like you've got a lot of ingredients here. How do you get them in the bar? Yeah, we just, if only it was so easy is just snapping our fingers and getting it in there so how we operate with the dessert bars is we start off with making our shells which are over here and this is basically a chocolate shell and then we prep all of our fillings in advance put them in our piping bags and then we pipe each layer that needs to go in as well as other components that get layered in and then it gets capped with chocolate and that's it so we're gonna actually put a whole graham cracker inside we of one are. of these yes uh, amazing <laughs> so let's start with the mold perfect let's fill one of those yeah. so we're gonna head over to our tempering machine over here we have our bowl of tempered chocolate so chocolate needs to be tempered which is a fancy way of saying that we need to control the temperature in a specific way so that it has the proper kind of like properties in order for us to work with it. Does that affect the taste as well or is it solely for the mold? So it's important for molding definitely but it also affects the texture I would say more than the taste because what happens if your chocolate isn't in temper the cocoa butter separates from the rest of the chocolate it's a little bit gritty the fat separates so you get white streaks um, and we probably wouldn't be able to get it out of the mold either if so it, it is important temper. it is very important and I'm sure you've had it where you've bought chocolate and it gets that white kind of coating on it that's bloom and that's from chocolate that has either lost its temper or maybe wasn't tempered properly to begin with okay so we obviously have some pre-made molds here because we, we didn't do. want to wait for them to actually <laughs> harden so now what the power of show business so the next step is going to take this so this is actually dark chocolate ganache and the reason that we went with this one is we felt like there was a lot of sweetness um, that was going to be happening in this bar and we wanted a really rich dose of chocolatiness so I have to ask you when you're coming up with these flavors you get to test a lot of ones to decide what's exactly right yes it's, it's a great job it is it is sometimes it causes me physical pain to do it <laughs> but um, but you got to find the right ingredients for people <laughs> oh yeah like in the beginning I would test you know 20 30 times in a row until I got something perfect the dream and you yeah. know when I walked in here the first thing I said is if heaven had a smell this is it yes I heard that that's true it is that's very, not very a lie good. for the cameras. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get ready to pipe this filling in the base here. And are you just guessing how much to put in? Or are you kind of used no, to it by now? Yeah, once you do enough of them, you're like, okay. Again, all the testing and tasting to know just the right amount. So now, do you have to wait after this, or we can just keep no, going? No, we're gonna keep going. So that's the nice thing about um, this bar specifically, is that this ganache is pretty firm. We're just throwing on our little semi-sweet chocolate chips. These are good quality dark chocolate, and that's just gonna add some fun like yeah. texture in the bar. Now I'm gonna go in with my marshmallow fluff. My opinion, it's the best part. Yeah, absolutely. And this is gonna get piped in a nice, generous kind of layer on top. We don't want to go too crazy with it because then when somebody tries to break open the bar, it's all going to kind of explode on us. Will it kind of settle in once we put the next piece in? It will, yeah. Okay. It will. And then we're taking our graham cracker and we're just laying that on and pressing down very gently. And you can see the rest of those toppings. I'm just going to squish that guy in there. The rest of those toppings are making their way out. So it's going to be nice and full when somebody bites in. That looks delicious. Yeah. Now we have to top it off, right?